Hi, I'm Saket, co-founder and CEO of Nexla. I have been working with large-scale data for nearly eight years, most recently at Rubicon Project, which acquired my previous startup and then IPO'd in 2014. We processed nearly 20 terabytes of data every hour. But that won't seem big in a few years, as global data volumes continue to follow Moore's law and double every 18 months. Working with thousands of partners means more data sources, more data formats, and increased frequency of data access. This increase in data and the increasing adoption of machine learning means that 91% of companies use third-party data in some shape or form to create better products and services. This explosion in data makes managing intercompany data very hard, both technically and operationally. We have seen this movie before. We used to have to run our own data centers. Cloud computing changed how we manage thousands of servers. Data operations will change how we manage thousands of data sources. Nextla is a data operations platform that takes care of how you give and get the data so that you can focus on how to use the data. Less time integrating, more time creating business value. Nextla is easy to use, secure, and smart. Our intuitive user experience turns what was traditionally an ad hoc engineering task into a process that can be scaled with an operations team. Data is gold, and security is paramount. We take care of end-to-end -end encryption, access control, and anonymization. The platform is smart. It learns about your data and alerts you to changes in schema, quality, and data volume. Let's see a demo of how this works. Here, we have a data operations analyst from an auto insurance company. Today, she wants to ingest connected car data coming through an API. Just as your photo app automatically organizes your pictures into albums, Nexla automatically scans your data into data sets. She previews the data set to make sure it's the right one. And then annotates the schema, creating a shared data dictionary for her team. To make changes, she opens the data editor. The incoming data has high quality GPS location, but she only needs city level accuracy. She selects lat long and reduces precision to only one decimal. There, that was easy. Now consider an e commerce company analyzing product shipments handled by a third party delivery company. Here, she selects delivery status and filters for delayed orders. Nexla comes with many built-in transforms, but a power user can always create custom transforms that are saved for the rest of the team. The resulting data set on the right can now be shared with a colleague, a partner company, or sent to a data destination. She chooses MySQL. Nexla automates the flow. Nexla then monitors the data to detect anomalies such as changes in schema or null values. It took our user no time to set this up, and no coding was required. Back to the slides. Building such workflows, security, and pipelines as an in-house solution requires a specialized expertise and massive efforts that are hard to justify. Existing inter Existing solutions, meanwhile, cannot handle intercompany data with its needs for monitoring, security, and operational scale. Nextla was built from the ground up to run in every infrastructure environment. 
I'm happy to say that since starting our closed beta three months back, we have been in trials with companies such as Instacart, Grand Rounds, Inmobi, and Poshmark. Companies across verticals love Nexla because we make data operations a highly secure, scalable, and repeatable process, making data operations a $30 billion opportunity. Today, I'm excited to announce that Nexla is now in a public beta. If you run a highly data-driven business in a complex ecosystem, then data ops challenges are a matter of when, not if. With Nexla, you can focus on scaling your business while we scale your data operations. Visit nexla.com slash disrupt to get started. Thank you. All right, judges. Brian, do you want to start us off? Sure. So data is living in lots of different places within the organization. Modern systems, archaic systems. Talk through how someone implements Nexla, uh, just given that data might be sitting in so many different systems. What does that integration effort look like to get yeah. onboarded? Yeah. How long does it take? How much does it cost? Yeah. So we have had companies get onboarded within a day because there are so many existing connectors that we provide. It's easy for someone to set up and say, here is all my FTP servers, here are all my APIs, and set that up. But it's a platform, so we do allow people the ability to create any kind of custom connectors if they really need to. But most often, we hope to support that ourselves. You mentioned that the current solutions cannot handle the magnitude of the data. So can you talk a little bit more about your competitors and how exactly you're different from each of them? Mm -hmm. Well, we really think that there's no one else like us uh, in the market. We believe that we're unique, but we do sit in, in adjacent to the integration players of the world, integration as a service provider such as Informatica. But how we're differentiated is our laser focus on intercompany data and our business user first product development. So Nexla is designed to be able to be used by a business aware, or attack aware business person, and not necessarily a data engineer or someone who's a consultant trained in one of these other platforms. But, but tell me more about the intercompany data, because the, the business user has been used for, I used to work at business objects, I know the story really well, yeah, yeah. but, but uh, it's not very innovative. Tell me about the Intel data. More in, de in details. I, like, give me an example. Why is this really unique? I really want to hear. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. So, to give you an example, you know, if you uh, are doing machine learning, which is growing, you are now ingesting data from hundreds of sources. Now, imagine yes. that some data doesn't come up in time or changes in structure. Those, those are day-to-day -day problems, but it's a, it's at a massive scale. More data partners, more data sets and more frequency. Now, to give examples, e-commerce, getting data from your suppliers if you're doing real-time stuff. Um, you know, um, travel, you need like real-time access to uh, availability and pricing, and it has to be accurate. So, it, connected car, like we talked about. So, well, yeah, I think, yeah. That, I think that's interesting, but so there's two post potential issues with that. One is, do you mean that you have a double sale to make? You have to sell into the two ah. companies that work together? And oh. two, tell me about Security, data security. Okay. Uh, no, we very you much. See what I mean? If you go yes. to a client and no, we very much work like a one sided platform when needed. So, for example, I want to send data to my partners and they want it in FTP. So, you can send it to an FTP and they can access it from there. I get data from partners by API. They, the sender doesn't need to know that. You just plug in their API into our system. You so intervene when there's already the relationship. Their existing exactly. relationship, yeah. they're already moving data. It's just that they don't have the most secure ways, coming back to the security part, um, to do that. And we give them the tools so that it is easy to manage their business objectives as well as security. Now, we run uh, a highly, and you know, with an encrypted pipeline. We have a very strong set of investors and advisors who come from security background, like the founder of Palo Alto Networks. Um, and security is the core tenet in the product. We started day one knowing intercompany means security. So um, you remind me of kind of like an Altrix, but for sharing data externally. So there's a data pipeline. My question is, is what's your go-to-market? There seems like there's a heavy viral component to this as well. 
in terms of I get data, I share it with someone else. Can you walk me through how you go to market, how do you establish a beachhead? Because it's very hard to sell platforms. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, great question, um, and yes, we are hope hopeful that the virality will kick off, right? That would be a okay. nice network effect of, that's built into our product. But there's really four main components to our go-to-market strategy, and so as you can see from our sample customers, we're really focused on the mid-market. Today, we want to scale up into enterprise, and the way that we're doing that is one through inbound marketing. We have a thought leadership strategy. We believe the market needs to be educated of the data challenges that are coming when you have hundreds, thousands of data sources to power your machine learning. And by the way, 73% of companies across industries, not just in tech, are doing machine learning today or plan to do so in the next 12 months. So this isn't just a tech business problem. This is every industry. The second pillar is really outbound traditional enterprise sales. We're a SaaS model, we have to do that. Um, third is we hope there are some network effects because once you're sharing data with a partner via Nexla, that partner becomes aware <coughs> of Nexla. And finally, word of mouth and referrals. We've already received referrals from the few customers that we've been in pilots with. Can you share a little bit about your pricing? Yeah, so our uh, <coughs> pricing is in the five to six figure range currently for annual contracts and companies see data challenges at large scale. Companies that we work with often have data operations teams already with no specific tool to use for them. So for them this is you know very reasonable because is it based on users based buying on data? yeah based on two drivers. So one is the amount of data and the number of data connections they have. So we have a monthly minimum with some usage based upside. Are you Zach or Jeff? And if not who are you and what's your role? Yeah, my name is Jara. I'm the VP of business. So I'm the only non-engineer on the team. So I'm handling all the market uh, business development and strategy. Can you talk about the security infrastructure here? Because you're increasing the attack area as you integrate into some of these companies. So how do you protect Nextla itself? Absolutely. So as I said, security is a core tenet of the product. The number one thing we have is the entire pipeline is, is fully encrypted. We, by the way, do not store any data. We just move the data. So that reduces the amount of risk because you have to have an in-memory attack to really get that. Then we obviously have you know, MFA and all the best security practices within our system. And as I mentioned, we have some really strong um, advisors that have been helping us think through all the security. It's an ongoing thing in security. We keep working on that. But uh, being intercompany makes security you know, the number one thing that we focus on. All right, guys, give it up for Nextlove. Thank you.